For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to talk about how to use tap detection inside of the Circuit Playground library in CircuitPython. And I happen to be on a Circuit Playground Bluefruit. The Circuit Playground library is a really high level library that makes things easy to do on either the Circuit Playground Express or the Circuit Playground Bluefruit boards. Here I have the Bluefruit version. But this would work the same in either case. What this function in the library lets me do is detect tapping of the entire board because we have an accelerometer built on there, the uh, LIS3DH, which happens to have tap detection. And built into it, it can tap either a single tap or double taps, which is really convenient because it allows you to avoid accidental taps. If you have this, let's say, sewn into a costume or built into a prop and you want to start something without any real access to the board itself, you can tap onto the board, the object, the prop you've built it into. Here's an example of it working here. I've got a little red LED up in the corner here. You're going to see that turn on when I double tap. So I just double tapped the board. You see the LED went on. And now I'm going to turn it off again by double tapping. And that tap will work from pretty much any direction. We can tap on the front of it there, on the side of it, on the bottom of it, as long as it wiggles enough. Actually, I'm kind of holding that a little tight, so it didn't want to go. Uh, there we go. You can also see here I'm printing the double tapped when that happens. And we can change that tap to text to a single tap, and that would work just the same, but for single taps. The way this works in code is really straightforward. All I really need to do is import from Adafruit Circuit Playground, import CP, that brings in the whole Circuit Playground object. Then I'm gonna use cp.detectTaps equals two. So it tells this that I'm looking for two taps within a pretty short band. You can get away with a few milliseconds uh, in between maybe 40, 50, up to 100. Uh, but it is kind of like double, double tapping or double clicking on a mouse. Then in my main loop here, I have while true, if cp.tapped, meaning did this double tap get registered, then I'm printing double tapped, and then I'm changing the red LED, again using the circuit playground library, so cp.redLED equals the opposite. So if it's off, it's on. If it's on, it's off. Then I'm waiting just a little bit there so we can avoid any sort of um, debouncing issues. And so that is how you can detect double taps on the Circuit Playground Express or Circuit Playground Bluefruit in CircuitPython using the Circuit Playground library. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.